No with all that jazz. Good afternoon, people. Hi, Chris. My sissy poo. Jude is in the house. Hello, ladies. Today is going to be very um, low key and messy. Just messy. I don't have to concentrate really. I don't have to. I get to play with lots of color. Makes me happy. One moment, please. Yeah, I'm all right. I can't lay down it. I haven't, I haven't been able to really rest today. So I'm like, forget it. I'm just going to. Can't lay down. It's no good to do nothing. Um. Trying to blow, uh, plug in my blow dryer. One moment. out my um I'm gonna put watercolors today and I might pull out some fabric to 
depends on if I can create what I want to create. We'll see how well it goes. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I need to. I don't know. Please. It's a whole other operation itself. That's for sure. Okay. I think I'm ready to start now. What are you doing down there, pretty tat? Hmm? You need to come up and say hi to the girl. Just don't walk on my jelly plate, okay? We make that agreement. Now we'll eat. Okay. All right, go over there. Why am I stopped? Oh, why am I getting? No, stop it. Get out of there, Aki. No, come on. Get. Can you guys hear me? Am I moving? Or not? Oh, God. Oh, Hello. Sorry for that. Dogs went nuts. Can y'all hear me? Am I is am I working good? Okay. I had a hiccup. And I'm still hiccuping. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were being a pain. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? All right. <laughs> Let's hope that it um <laughs> that it's my son let them out, so maybe that's what their problem was. There's nobody here, there's no mailman or anything, so they probably needed to go off. All right, so I'm just using my um, St. Petersburg White Knight watercolors. So, whatever. First, I must pick. I must pick stencil. Mm. No, not that kind of stencil. never claim to have not a small mouth <laughs> or not a big mouth. <laughs> I warned everybody.
Going abstract today, girls. Sort of. So you don't have to hear the, the atrociousness of my yell. <laughs> because, well, you know, I didn't, don't like to make your eardrums bleed, you know. <laughs> this is why I don't, st I don't sing either. <laughs> I can't say never, but I don't. <laughs> You guys are too much. <laughs> I brought out a bunch of paper. I won't use it all, but you know, hey. Um, yeah, first I want to. Oh, where's my plastic knife? I love 13 Arts Gesso. I just, I just can't even tell you guys how much I love. I love and appreciate their gesso. Uh, well, that's probably too much, but look, let's just see. Mm. Mm, this one for color. Oh, I need to put a paper in here. That's silly me. I can see some magicals or something coming up from what was on the plate. You know, somebody really needs to come up with stencil storage that's not in a book, doesn't tangle, <laughs> no, no such thing exists. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do that. Uh, uh, oh, you brought me, you brought me your toy. You want to play? You want to play? Yeah. You want to play? Odin, Odin, you want to play? You want to play? <gasps> really? Okay. Did you guys hear him? No. <laughs> Hush. 
you were just out so you can't can't possibly have to do anything go lay down and now is not the time for you to to get up to your normal hygiene go lay down now good girl Um, guys, Go get your toy. Don't look at me. You gotta go get it. Mommy does not cut down toys until it's cleaning day. You're on your own, kiddo. Go get your toy. Go get it. Uh, oh, I won. I won. Kenny Pudge made um, three, like, pocket or cards or something thing with bobbers right chris she needs to go play a lottery ticket <laughs> go find your toy if you want mommy to play don't look at me like that I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to bring down the camera. See, see those, this right down in here and right there, that orangey stuff? Crusty bits from the stencil. Got a little bit over here, too. Mm -hmm. Got little magicals going on in the plates and um, crusty bits from our stencil. It's going to be a good day, y'all. I hope. What? Seriously, I don't have anything open that shouldn't be. Oh, they were mini journals. Oh, well, I might have to share them, a couple of them when I get them. Jar lady flux. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Um, okay, now with my brush here. Um, do I want to put? No, let me let me let me do a little something something before we put we deal with that. This is going to be the layers, girls. All about the layers. Um, oh, I should have sprayed these, but like a dummy, if you think about it. Ooh. 
let's see what color do I want. Um, I do love the turquoise that's in this set. takes a minute because these they are pretty juicy but they still take uh yeah and Let's do olive green or indigo. Let's do indigo. Yes, indigo. Now, we're going to dry that. Oh, wait. Berg art. Let me put a dab of matte medium. Do I? No, I want it squishy. Paper. Paper. No, oh, no. Paper. Want to, you want to play? Yeah? Okay. Um, let's see. Did you see Michelle have that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to play? Okay. This is just a cleanup sheet, not what I'm after. Um, okay. Then let me do what do I want to do next? We want to dry that. I just dumped so fine and uh, usually in the Murphy's oil soap and it cleans it right off. But yeah, I want to try some of this soap. No, no, not in the watercolors. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, you know, you know. You want to play? You want to play? Okay. You want to play? Okay. <laughs> Oops. I'm all over the place. Shame on me for moving my camera. <laughs> Try what? <laughs> what happened? There no use. Use it on your um. Why is it 
all coming up show. Hello? There you go. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's the cat up to his regular. Okay. Um, I think I want... Um, What do I want? <laughs> Maybe just let's try. I guess I should have brought cut out my other um jars too, but no, I did not. I'll use this water. Clean out my my orange. Tell how long it's been since I've used these paints. Hi, Joe. What am I going to use for my pickup? Uh, well, hasn't been a good week for me. It's amazing how fast our kids grow once they get a certain age. Oh my god, I gotta stop saying that. Welcome to my abode. some double exposure, shall we? Oh, 
I'm just going to quickly dry this one. Oh, I gotta figure out the next color and I gotta get my book. I might accidentally drop something on you. Um, do I want? Um, oh, that's there. Um, oh, never mind. One more. Okay, I do want to highlight. can't have my feet. You're the one that wants to be down there with my feet. If you get stepped on all then that's your own fault. Welcome in. Hi, Elise. Hey. Welcome in. Erg. Erg. Shut up. Oh, you have to, Joe. It's super fun. Make sure I haven't missed anybody else. Sissy Poo, where did you go? Oh, there you is. Okay, never mind. Okay, back to what I was doing. Let's see. I'm thinking. Hmm. Let's do. How about a purple? Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll just get that. Uh, dipping water because I'm going to need it. You go over there, you go over there. more of this dark blue. Go. Double exposure, peeps. I have no idea what's going to happen. What's on this paper is the original pickup I did of the white gesso uh, from this uh, pattern that's down there. So that's what we're doing. I want to smooth it out first. Uh, no. 
Let's just get on with it. Fresh stream yard because it's like what is it doing? What is the problem? Okay, apparently StreamYard um, has issues today, so it's not keeping up with me, so I've got to look um, in my camera. Hello. Apparently StreamYard is acting goofy today. Can you all hear me okay and see me okay now? Oops, I left the paper on a little too long. But that's a pretty print. And it got all that stuff that was underneath the stencil. 
and there's still some new bits here to play with. Okay. That's only the first pull. Okay. Hi, Mary. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Let's do. some of these. And then if I get it worked out what I'm looking for, because you guys know I usually have a vision. Oh, for heaven's sake. Um, you guys know I usually have a vision. Will it come to light? I have no idea. No promises, friend. No promises. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know my watch my that my brayer is squeaky. I can't help that. And no, I do not have a mouse in the house. I have uh, three dogs, a cat, four lizards, two grandkids, and my adult son. Don't have no room for no mice. No nieces, please. And just one which bit and just get the slightest one drift this way down. This way. And let's do that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a stream yard thing. Because YouTube was still running until my StreamYard restarted. So if I get beeped out, it's because my son went to reset the router. I don't think he did, but I did hear, did hear his door open. So I hope that he did not restart the router. Marcy, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, there we go. Hi, Rose. Guess we're going to probably have to soak these stencils later. Okay, now, okay, let's try it one other way. Yeah. So, first, I need to dry that. I know, I love this ring. It's funny though, I have to keep bouncing it um, hand to hand because this finger gets a little tight when I get swollen. So, all day yesterday I had it on, on this finger. <laughs> like, but I'm like, oh, I'm getting messy today and I don't want to take it off and I don't want it to turn around on my finger too much and be in the way. And, get all yucky and 
Thanks, Marcy. Um, most of these six by six are um, either stencil girl or their um, uh, GCW, most of them. Then, while that's floating around, let's put in some of the olive green. I read your mind. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I mean, I'm a I'm a witch. I tell I tell the ghost all the time, but he doesn't believe me because he can't see the 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 magic. So.
try, uh, let's try the skull. Come on. Now, in them, I just kind of let it drop. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's do hmm. I think I moved these brows <clears throat> around so I won't know what this is until it's not sepia. Pink, gray, black. Oh, it must be Mars Brown then. Must be. I think. I don't know. We're just going to see. Just going to see what happens, man. Oh, definitely need more. Welcome back. This brown in there. Shall we? Okay. This 
is kind of my plate's dirty so sorry about it but all them layers are there now i've got fingerprints in there that's okay we'll come back with some white Might be a hot mess, who knows? Uh, this is clear gesso. I use three different things. I'll either use matte medium, clear gesso, or if I want a more translucent effect, I will add in some um, some golden. Um, oh, what the heck! Um, arg, can't think of it. I'll think of it, or I'll look at for you and let you guys know. But if you've watched me jelly plate before, you will have seen that I use those three things, and I always usually talk about it. But I was I wasn't feeling up to going into going into the whole uh, spiel. So yeah, if you guys want to know something, <laughs> you gotta ask. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Not ready yet. Okay, slower, Shauna, slower. Oh, you know what I forgot? I was going to add in some magenta. Oh, well. I was going to do a triple layer, but, you know, what the heck. Come on. Well, it didn't quite come out what I think um, it's pretty, but it didn't quite come out what I was hoping for. But I do see something. I mean, it's pretty, but I think it would have been even more prettier with some magenta in it. And had I, um, you can see the design, but yeah. Where's the other one? Let's see so we can pair something. Yeah, I definitely got I need to use. Okay. All right. One last. Let this one dry, but you can see the patterning in there. Oh, the stencils. Not quite what I was going for. I know I should have watched one of my videos. For that. Let's see. That was just a cleanup print. So, okay. 
this is the cleanup print in the middle, which is um, the negative. <laughs> kind of what I wanted. It would have been really pretty though with some both of these with the magenta in there. So, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should do that at the end. Let me think. Hmm, I'm just I'm thinking to myself how I want to rotate the layers. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. Hi, Diane. You did. Hi, Tina T. Welcome in, ladies. Um, so maybe I need to do the gesso in between. Okay. Um, Maybe less variation too, I'm thinking. Maybe just get the overall coverage. Okay, let's try it this way. Without having my paper slow. All right. Let's just clean up there. Whatever loose. Just basically drying it off. Okay. Get over there. And I think too, I want to add the gold in with this one. Second layer, I want to add this gold in. Okay. What stencils do I want to use this time? Zubalza, welcome. That's a new name. Thanks for coming. <laughs> the crusty bits, yeah. We're, we're building up. Okay. Let's try these three. Oh, we haven't done the streets of the streets one. Am I missing one of my streets one? Let's try. Um, hold up. Because I'm missing. Not missing, missing, but. Well, missing. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. I just don't know if it's, I took it out and moved it and put it somewhere. In the streets ones. Oh yeah, that one. There's one. Oh, here's the other. Okay. I knew I was missing some stencils. Okay. Let's try these three. <clears throat> Now, what I do is not 
traditional uh, jelly plating. I can help you with any questions you have, regardless if you're advanced or not. Um, but I also don't play with acrylics either. So I'm a liquid medium artist, uh, acrylic inks, watercolors, etc. If you're new to my channel. Myra, okay, welcome to my abode. Let's see, how do I want to do this? do it yeah let's just let's just do it oh no wait Well, yeah, well, right now I feel like I'm making a big mess, but you know, <laughs> when you come to my channel, there's no guarantees what you're going to come against <laughs> or you're gonna, what you're going to find because hmm, all kinds of crazy is happening over here. <laughs> Flower making, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Oh, and I saw. Oh, I need to do some more um, play with. Uh, uh, I'm going to be cutting uh, more fabrics to, for fabric flowers. That's oh, seems up yesterday or the day before or something. I'm like, oh, that gives me an idea to try something that I thought of. So. Gold. 
nothing wrong with a little bling or metallic, eh? <clears throat> Deduction there, Watson. Oh, the best piece of advice I got, I have to tell you right off the bat about the dough plate. Don't use anything hot and or anything sharp. I'm just saying, you might not be a happy camper. And well, with one of them, you might start your house on fire. So there's that. <laughs> um, Okay, now we're going to spritz the water. Okay. Brush. Clean. Let's see. Let's use. Hmm. Um. Well, let's go for some pink. Uh, I might really have, well, this one. Yeah, this one will do. This one's the pink, the only pink I have left in this set. I can get to where I want it, then we're going to play with fabric. If we don't get there, then we don't play with fabric. So y'all need to cross your fingers and your toes and pray that I find what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's not the pink. That might be the red. I changed these uh, around. What did I do? Maybe that's not the pink. Let's see. I think I'm wrong. I think that's the wrong color. Houston, we have a problem already. Mm. Yeah, because I think this one. All right. Yeah, I did the wrong red. I really wanted this this pinky color. But I'm gonna put some of this on there too. Cause what the heck? All right. Ooh, that's rough too. Whew. Yikes. Strap. It's <laughs> Johnny, hello. Quick, quick, extract. Uh, no, we got some pink in there. Look at that, that coral and pink happening. Yeah, we're going to get some pink in this. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Oof. Yuck. Hello. Um, now, just so dry. Now, nah. um, yeah, not nah. next nah, color, please. I 
don't know what I had. I, I had a piece of uh, paper to wipe off on. I don't know what I did with it. It was here before I started the stream. Ooh, we might get something rose goldy. That would be interesting. Hmm? That would be interesting, folks. But, yeah. Now, let's see. Um, how about we calm this down with some blue and green. Let's go dark blue. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Dark blue it is. Blackberry. Um, dry a little bit. Semi dry. You're not wanting to stay up there very well today. Green next, and then we go in for the pull. Everybody, start holding your breath. Probably going to be a hot mess, but you never know. Where's our stencil still? Mm, I don't know which way I have them. One moment, please. Do I want them in the same spot? Thinking. I think. Okay, right over there. Make 
sure I'm not missing anything. Bula Bula Berry. <laughs> Why does your pickup page look like, or what does? Well, the one that I use to extract, it's kind of looking like a hot mess right now. Um, but this is what this one looked like so far. That's just picking up bits of it. Um, yeah, it's dry. Yeah, it happens. It does. It happens, Vic. It sure does. Picking up anything that may be residually. Everybody hold your breath. So, Deb, did you get all your uh, studio unpacked? Hmm? gold out of that. Mm -hmm. I like it. 
need something on the other side, but I like it. And you can see all the, the lines in there. I didn't get as much. I didn't get my, I didn't get, but we'll get that guy at the end. That is a good one, friends, for sure. Um, let's Twelve by twelves for my idea, but I don't do that guy. Brand new stencil in the house. As of a, I don't know, a few weeks ago or whatever. Where is? Oh, girls, it's hot in here. It's hot in here. I'm just saying, it's hot in here. Okay. I like letters too. Oh, this one's fun. And this is the other one I'm looking for. And make that one. It's hot in here. I'm not finding where's my other one? That's nothing like breaking out the brand new one, huh? Gotta ask, don't know about Joe play process. So pick up pages you don't use. No, they're very usable. They're just as usable as one of the ones you don't you're not you know the regular ones i use my my i often like those better and i use them um just as much as i do anything else but i'm looking for something that yeah that i did the other day and not the other day <laughs> like either the time or two before one of the la last couple times of jelly plated but we're just gonna leave all that. And when you leave stuff on your plate and you pick it up, Diane, you get these little, we call them crusty bits, but some of this layering that's down there and stuck on the jelly plate, when it finally comes up, is just absolutely, you cannot, you can't recreate it. And and you can do use the same scents on the same products and the same colors over and over again um, and get totally different results. Here is. I thought I brought a rag with me. Apparently, I didn't. Some become gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Um, black. You can also. 
um, if if you like uh, the color Titan Buff, um, black one and Titan Buff are the tip or the uh, or if you have like another good one that I like, uh, but I don't use acrylics, so and I don't think I have it in this set, but um, is Naples Yellow? It's also a really pretty. Ooh, I'm gonna break out the Naples Yellow. I have it in my professional one. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna go with that. I'm gonna bring that. Let's just put this down first. And it also the variation also depends on how many layers you do, uh, what your stencils you're using. I mean, there's the variations are just endless. Um, oh, I forgot to put down. I wanted to put down some. Um, my me next before I go up uh, that we're gonna put down some um, some flakes or something. What did I do with this? Oh, here they are. What did I do with my papers? My regular paper. Well, okay. Uh, uh, because I'm a liquid medium artist and I don't use acrylics, but I use acrylic inks, I use watercolors, I've used pan, pan pastels, um, uh, you know, in, any other kind of medium, because I'm a liquid medium artist. I have watercolor, if you don't want it squishy and like splotchy, it beads up on the plate because it's the gel, it, the plate is very slick and jelly. So the, the watercolor paints and sprays and inks and all that it wants to bubble up so you have to give it um uh, a catalyst to stick to the plate so i use gesso for that or i'll use um uh clear gesso or um white gesso you know something to hold the the paint but now white gesso is also a resist for the watercolor as well so have to be, um, you have to know that going in. You can use matte medium as a binder. Um, and you want a really translucent look. This stuff, a glazing medium. Um, even though it's an acrylic product, it helps find the watercolor so it doesn't speed up. Now what let's go ahead and use let's give this bad boy some translucency. Oh, I used the wrong brush, the bra uh, brayer. Oh no, this was the ink. Never mind. I thought I put gesso on this prayer. <laughs> like, I don't want to mix it. You can. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't want the white coming in where I don't want it. That's what you guys think about too. It's how your colors mix. Um, yeah. There's so, so many variations. Oh, 
Oh, shy, 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 shy. Okay, you know what? We're gonna make it. That's fine too. Okay, Chris. So what you up to, Sissy Poo? Gold's still a little wet, so I'm going to throw in some of the, the, the pink. See how it beats up if it doesn't, um, it's watercolor or it's, you know, it's ink. They don't have the same, um, they need something very toothy to uh, adhere to. And the gessos do that for them. Hmm. I need this one. No, this one. See, you get that nice creamy pinky coral with the gold. Pretty. I hear you, Deb. I had to, uh, I was so sick last this past week, this week, because of the heat. Oh, I'm over it already. Um, actually, let's use, we'll use the Payne's Gray for this one. Payne's Gray is, 
Um, I generally use Payne's Gray or Neutral Skin in lieu of black. So. Black to me is a very dead color. It doesn't, and this gives the same, and sometimes, you know, depending on which one you use, you know, blue or which is the paint's gray. Um, unless you have um, a really dark paint's gray, then it's usually mixed with black. Um, but there's, because like I said, there's Payne's gray and then there's Payne's blue gray, which is even more blue. Um, and then there's neutral tints too. And one is more gray and one is more um, blue tone. So it just all depends. If you're using acrylic, you don't need to do the extra steps that I do with adding the, I mean, unless you want to, like the white gesso, it's giving, it gives it a nice effect. Um, Oh, my West Coast girls. Where's gigs today? Oh, today's Sunday. We probably, we may not see them. Um, oh, Diane, send me some stats.
see what it's going to do. This is um, Tamoe River paper. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for coming on. Good seeing you, my friend. Miss you. That's what I'm dealing with now. I mean, we have one small one in the living room. But uh, and then my son has a little small one in his room. We just, we don't, yeah. I need to get one for my room. That's what I'm going to save up for next. It's an air conditioner for my room. Then we'll have cross ventilation with the cool air. Oh, Shauna. That was not cool. That's okay. It'll get used in, in collage. But it's on there too long, and I also was too rough with it. But that's okay, because all that on the plate is yummy stuff. And this can be used for collage as well. So nothing gets, nothing gets uh, taken away. Let's fill this in with, um, let's just do the gold and the pink. So that's the basis of our color anyway. Ruined a good coal, but maybe we'll get something good anyway. Nope, so the Moe River paper can't stand up to the abuse. <laughs> you can use it on regular pools, that and napkins too. I jelly, I love the jelly thing on napkins as well. The white napkin bag. Keep those. You can use those on your plate. You can't do any big pull pickups with it because it's so fragile, but you can get, you know, one or two pulls on it. Jewel, how are you? Thanks for coming and popping in. I appreciate everybody coming by. All 
I'm just over here making a mess. Nothing really to see here. It's gonna be a pretty rosy one, guys. You can tell by the color. As long as I don't muck it up again. And this one has one of the, the pickups from the original Gesso runs. So I'm going to hopefully give some extra texture. I'm okay hanging in there, you know. Just wax. Last week wasn't my best, but Yeah, not what I was looking for, but it's pretty. And it's got some, you rock it and look at it in person. You can see some of the gold shimmer. There we go. It's in there. The beautiful pink and all the yummy stuff going on in the background. Okay. Dry this up. Let's switch colors. Go with. Um, Usually I'm very good about keeping them separate. Not today, apparently. Today is not the day. Some nice corner crusty bits happening too. edge up over there. Mm -hmm.
you get what I want, we're all going to be happy. Really, Mia, go lay down, baby. Go on. He's got his, his T-O-Y again. I know I make the mess. It's okay. The one that was coughing, it's a dog. She's old. Where's your, I know, I know, but wait, you're jumping in the, the paint. She, she can't take you anywhere, Odin. He's a hot mess. He can't help himself. You want to sit? You want to play? You want to play? Yeah, okay. You should have been born a dog. I'm just saying. Because he's definitely. 
definitely does not act like a cat most days. Um, no, we're just going to go in with white. I am, yes. Uh oh, what did you what did you make it through, sis? <laughs> um no, we're just we're just gonna go go for the pull. No more messing around. Should be dry, but I don't want to get gray either. I want it to be more white. I like gray, but I want it to be more white. You want to play? You want to play? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, about that. You can always rewind though. Um, let's see what that does. Don't know if I like it, but what the heck. I think I still want to bring it. I still want to put that card. Let's do this. Let's do this. Back down she goes. Grayish. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. One more layer.
not this round though. I want to use, we're going to use it on the, either in the middle round or the beginning round. I haven't decided yet. Because it's cool on both levels, but I don't know. I've got to get what I want first. And then um, I'm going to use uh, have you like Let's use the undiluted version. Hey, yeah. You want two or three garlic bread for this? Um, how big are they? Like six inch or whatever? Yeah, they're <laughs> mixed two. Um. Two, yeah. I just put mine in the microwave. Oh. So Okay, here we go. Um, not yet, but I have in the past. No, 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 no. Not yet today, but I have in, in other jelly plating sessions. the lightened version. We go in again. See some of the the pink and gold shining through there. We'll let that one over there dry. Now the paper. Um, Mine for dear life, <laughs> so you may be killed. can't have the plate. Oops. And you dropped your toy. Yeah, I know. Well, you gotta go get it. Don't sit there and look at me. 
Yeah, you gotta go get it. Gotta go get it. Okay, so I went way out of, out of whack and did a bunch of layers <laughs> that I wasn't going to do, but, well, you guys know I just can't do it simple. I don't think I'm going to get what I want anyway, so why not? Oh, pretty tight. I forgot. Oh, hold on. You're in the paint. I know. Well, you're the one that's cut in the paint, so I have to get you out of the paint. Here, you want to play? Go to the toy. Okay. Okay. Bye, big. Thanks for coming, hon. Matt medium to pick it up with this time. It'll give it. Oh, a lot. That's okay. Now, which one? This one should be my cooler one. I don't know. This one that I have was my cooler one. Let's just see what happens. Um.
oh, I didn't leave it on there long enough, but that's pretty for collage. Just see. We'll lock the layer. Mm. Trying to think, do I want? No, maybe not that color. Let's do, oh, you know what? Blue and black go really well together. I mean, blue and, blue and black, blue and browns. Let's go with a really dark, let's go with this one. This should be sepia. Got some green in it. Just afraid that it might start, it might look like poo come done with it. Not that I don't like brown because I'm all about the vintage, y'all. Just saying. But let's see what we can create here besides the mess. get a yucky. That's really what I was going for. I do sell my jelly prints. Um, you'll find them at my sales. And they, I do, uh, I also give free digital to my members, my channel members. But then I sell packs of my jelly prints too uh, at my sales. Oh, yeah, and then there's digitals as well. I do have several um, digitals that are backgrounds that include some of my jelly prints. I know it's you. Are you talking about this bath specifically? <laughs> you did not, you were not very specific, my friend. I'm on chemo day, so you have to, you have to be very specific. Because, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
seriously, no more layers. Because we've gotten it down to the base. Now we're just we're really just gonna pick it up like like Sean, not playing around. No time for for messing around here. Um, yeah, you'll see them in, in jelly plastic. Uh, maybe I'll do some, um, like, um, usually I just do random pages, honestly. Um, but maybe I'll do some color coordinated and I'll mix some of these in with my, because I'm going to do some of my dyed papers as well over the next uh, month or so. And then um, maybe I'll include these. I'll do a mixed bag. And you'll get some regular dyed papers and some jelly plums. How about that for for an idea? Yeah, I saw you the other day. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and I said er hi to you earlier at the hop too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she changed her name. Where is my Queen Briar? Um, No idea how this is going to turn out. No guarantees. Oh, yeah. I use, well, some of this is acrylic ink, uh, watercolors. Um, like I said, I've done it with all kinds of non acrylic medium. Let's put it that way. Definitely um, sprays, uh, Lindy's, Magicals. Um, uh, Water soluble oil pastels. Um, you, I don't think you really want to put your. Uh, if you have regular oil pastels, I don't know. Um, you could probably it'd probably be better to draw something on the paper with the oil pastel um, instead of putting it on your plate. But if you get your plate so cruddy that you can't get a, a pickup or you want it totally clean because you're doing something specific, just uh, get some baby oil and wipe your plate down. Um, I've used pen pastels. Um, what else have I used? Uh, oh, Neo 2s. I've used those. Um, yeah. Oh, this is your old name. I didn't know you back then when you were famous or when you weren't famous. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> brushos, yep. Oh, that's what I've used. I don't have brushos, but I have, uh, like I said, the Lindy's powders, and I've also used um, the infusion. I have those that I've used. Um, when it comes to me and mixed media, if it's not the kitchen sink or tied down, all is fair game. But when you're a liquid medium artist and you don't use acrylic, you do, um, you do have to find ways to make your products work for you. And the only thing to remember with liquid mediums is that you need a catalyst to help it um stay on the plate and, you know oh some of this is just too pretty toward the paper but that's okay look at that yumminess up there 
Come on, focus. You break. There you go. You can see all the bits from the stuff that was under there before. And I don't mind that it's ripped. Like I said, I will use it in collage, but super pretty. That mixed. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get up some of the extra paper. I don't mind some, but I don't need the one I want. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want too much um, disruption. That's not paint. But I want to keep the paint that's on there. Back to the drawing board. Let's go back and use that one. Now, nah. let's use this one. This one's always fun. Yes, and we got to do the flakes this time. They're, um, they are water activated uh, powders, but they're not permanent. Same with the infusions. They're also not permanent. Um, the, if you use uh, clear gesso or uh, matte medium, you make them become permanent, essentially, but... Um, just if you don't use something to tie them down, basically, then you're going to get uh, movements. This is a well loved stencil. Try this. Magical the work. <laughs> but magical they become permanent once they're dry. It, they're, so they're nice to use with the jelly flakes. And I don't know, but I, it might just be too hot here right now. That my, a lot of my, uh, or I'm leaving it down there too long, which could be, or a combination of both. Um, that I'm just not. using the right rotation. Anybody have a color they want to see? Okay. 
Yep. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've used them. Oh wait, before we, no, we need to do the fill-in color and then we'll do the, then we'll do the flakes. Purple, we can do that, we can do purple. Um, let's do this one. This is a very vibrant purple. And I mean that literally. Pookie, you here? You watching this purple? Oh, oh, she's going back in.
those pink blues. Oh, okay. I'll show you one of the best galaxy combinations. And you can you can really uh, Um, am I out of white? What? Oh no, Mr. Bill. I'll do two things after this pull, and then we'll call it. We'll call it done. We'll go through the prints that we got today and see what they're what they're doing. This is the one that I originally relieved the stencil with. See that stuff on there? Let's go in again. We pulled up some of the paper from the last round. It's looking blue in the camera, but it really is purple. See some of the um, relief work from the original stenciling um, in the darker areas. Come on, focus, you freak. Let's see there. In there there's some of the paper with the turquoise and the the coppery bits from before you got some of the green from the un, uh, prior layers okay so let's do two things first of all oh 
this is just baby oil and it doesn't hurt the plate helps condition and it helps clean but it removes everything without um, damaging the plate and it gets it right off I don't mind if there's little tiny bits left over, but it'll also clean your um, your mats too. And if you have non-stick mats, um, but like gessos and the meat mat mediums and. Um, all kinds of things stick to your glass mats. So the quickest way to clean it is just by using baby oil. As you see, it just kind of is acrylic. Products are plastic based. That's, that's why they dry permanent. And when they dry, especially the mediums, not the pink so much, but the mediums. So see how quickly it just now the only thing you have to keep in mind is that when you first condition your plate and when you first get it from the manufacturer and take it out of the clamshell, um, you know it's it's clean and by clean like stuff even sometimes acrylics will want to beat up um but they'll spread out no problem but yeah um i always uh then dry it off with a paper towel because the baby oil is going to make it resist if there's any on there okay so first things first before we let me show you one of my favorite mixes for a galaxy. I need this one, this one, this one. One of the rare times I like to use black. Oh, but you didn't want purple. You want a pink galaxy. You want pink in your galaxy, right? Okay. Um, yeah, that's a whole, that's a different ball game. Um, but for acrylic products, baby oil works great. Dry enough, I think. Where's my? Okay. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's dirty. Like I said, just take it. You'll condition it with the with the baby oil. That's what the oil does for it. It conditions the plate. 
but it also will remove yucky stuff you have or if you want to clean it. I rarely clean mine. And I mean, even my edges are still nasty, but <laughs> um, yeah. a lot so i'm just gonna put glass everywhere else um <laughs> now i usually use purple but uh you know sure the magenta will work the same and I use a little bit of extra gold because it kind of it's a metallic so it's naturally translucent or has translucent qualities oh come on let's see if this one is one of them. Let's try a little bit of this one too. I don't know. One of them's diluted, or they both are diluted. Diluted. I don't. Know. All right. Now, black is not your best friend, so use it very sparingly. And by that, I mean just those three little drops go a long way. And don't over mix this. And I can see the magic happens while it happens. want to over mix or over scrunch or over anything. So we're just going to let this hang out for a second. Hi, Bevy. papers just went flying because I blew them over there. So the pink is not as fun for me. Um, and I definitely didn't put um, probably enough white in it. But yeah. Imagine more purple and exchanging the, the pink with the purple. Yeah. I went over there. I don't think the rest of them fall down. Okay. Now we're going to play with lights really quick before we go. And let's do it on tea dye paper. Um, and that's over here. Okay. So wait. And the the if when you use the 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 
mica flakes the, the, or the you know the mica leaf you know like gold leaf and stuff which is what i'm using um they will it, a, a lot of it will probably stick to your plate and not come off in your pool because of the nature of the the product that the flakes are um so do a few pulls and you'll keep getting that up and if you get to a point where you're finally just done with it then just use the baby baby uh oil to take it off your plate same with pan pastels if you work with if you try plant pan pastels on the jelly plate you're going to want to keep baby oil on hand to uh clean your plate in between coals because it's a powder so just wiping off what's what's wet here They'll auto, it automatically, you see, stick to the plate. So, you know, uh, unlike when you normally use these flakes, you need a binder to keep them tacked down. Um, you don't have to worry about it here. Because they automatically will stick to uh, everything. I usually just go to town because I usually do a few pulls when I use the flakes. Okay. Don't use any kind of dryer around your flakes. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> and just pat them down. Good smush it, flatten down. And these are variegated, so you get all, a lot of different colors in these mixes. I also have regular uh, flakes too, but this is just easy because it's already, and it get, you get multiple colors in those Fenner Bear ones or uh, Glimmer ones. And Fenner Bear has the same kind. All right, now let's move this over here. Oh, no, I'll leave you. Um, okay. Let's do. Let's do. Oh, we're, we're doing it on tea dyed paper, right? So. Hmm. Do I want to do this? Thinking. I know you guys probably smell it. My, my, smell me burning. My brain burning. What stencil do I want to use? No. I know it's, well, you know what? Actually, let's do, let's use this one. I'm knocking myself upside the head here and dropping everything. Okay. Um, what color do I want to use? Mm. See, we just did blue and purple. Um, you know what? We've got. Let's let's um. Let's use, um, here, get out my brush. Clean her out. I'm gonna do, let's do some orange.
Yeah, let's do some orange. No, well, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I gotta put my eyeballs on. Let's see what y'all were talking about. Back of the fearless one. This is it. <laughs> I have no fear. Uh, let's see. Let me go back. I've missed. Okay. There's your guys' colors. And been very protective. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, get them out, Tam. Get them out. What is it? It's paper. If I don't like it, I can throw it away. Or I can print, paint over it or use it in collage. Some of my best collage papers. Um, Um, this one? No. Uh, let's try this one. This one's fun too. You're just using acrylics. You can, you guys can go to town, like seriously. You're, I don't use acrylic paints, so. Okay, that's one firecracker. I hate the Fourth of July only because I love the Fourth of July, but I hate the Fourth of July. 
because of the dogs and the cat. Odin's been like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to send you guys pictures he, <laughs> of him and his, his first real experience with fireworks going outside. And I have, I have captured pictures of him um, <laughs> sneak, you know, taking a sneaking look out the window <laughs> and like, like this whole like dramatic thing of him working his way, like five different pictures uh, and looking uh, like um, outside the window, but like sneak peeking throughout the curtain. It was funny. This cat, I tell you, he has a mind of its own. He doesn't care what you say. Isn't that right, Odin? Stinker. Hi, Daddy. Thanks, love. the mess out of that palette. It's okay. It, this palette's only reserved for um, jelly plating now these days. Anyway, so
143,000. I don't know how this is going to come out, but we're about to find out. Nice tequila going on on my wiping. That one feels too, that feels like the, this feels like the regular one. It's what is this one called? Acrylic inks get kind of stuffy. Just add a little bit of water. There we go. Not too rough, Shauna. And if you are trying to do pick up prints in any fashion, um, you do really want to have thin layers uh, for your paint, regardless of what paint you're using. Um, Oh, well, what the heck. The run I originally picked up with. It doesn't really matter. Let's just, let's just go for it, shall we? Oops. Oh, I didn't rip it this time. No more strength, you know. Let's see what this one does. 
This is usually a good combo, but I haven't used it in a while, so we'll see what I've done it. It turned out okay because green, orange, and blue really do make a good combination because both of the green and the and the uh, blue um, uh, are complements to the orange and vice versa. So, but I didn't add a lot of orange in, so we'll see. It's a good collage paper. I mean, you can see some of the bits there of the the, the metallic from the flakes. Oh, there, there, there. So pretty Earth. So we made the the galaxy and the Earth today, and you can see some of the original design that's peeking through there. The from the gesso background, from the I don't know first second layer, whatever. But let's go again, see if we can clean our plate. Didn't get much orange, but again, I didn't put a, not, I didn't put a lot in the, on there. So I see hints of it, but yeah. Oh, this is definitely too thick. Let's just throw a little bit of this in there. Ooh, that was a lot of it. Let's just see if it's gonna, it's not gonna. See how it heats up? It does not like the plate, but that's okay. Because I'm using white paper. I'm not too worried about that. Let's see if we can pick up all the crusty bits, all of them, every single one of them. Well, within reason, there is still flakes on the plate and those are harder to come up than layers of paint. And then like if I pick something I don't like it and it has a lot of white maybe, you know, you could throw down another color and do it splotch, you know, pick it up splotchy with, so you have some to the left on the plate and then um, over print on the print that you made if you don't like it. You don't have to totally um, get rid of it with gesso, just put a little, little bits, little bits. Or white acrylic if you're using white acrylic. Most of the bits are right here. We worked in an upward motion this day. I also do mono printing too, uh, in addition to um, uh, jelly plating. So that's an, always a fun time. You'll find videos, it's very similar. You just don't use the plate. Um, I'm totally different looks and everything, of course, but yes, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. See the the shimmer from the more of the flakes coming up. Got a very stucco. Kind of, but you can see more of the green this time. All right, I'm going to leave my plate like that, except for I'm just going to clean off any extras. 
and then that'll be there for me to play next time. I didn't get what I wanted today, but that's okay. I will keep trying. I will not be defeated. Okay, let's, let's just put that over there. Ugh, everything is, I, I hate the jelly plating because you get so, yeah. <laughs> The only thing I don't like about it is that I, I everything gets all and I get and there's way too many products out and make sure all my ink bottles are closed. <clears throat> yeah, definitely got a lot of crusty crusty bits on that last one. But it the, you know, Chris, the, the, the really nice thing is when you get the, when I clean that up. I mean, it would have been even nice to keep what I already had, but I cleaned it off because I want to show you guys that thing. But all of this and the more layers, it just is so yummy. Where are all the papers? Okay, well, let's first get some cells. So hold on. One more me I'm going to dry these. Oh, I'm taking those other ones up. But you see how the same thing gets you two different results too. That's what I like about it. And this one you can definitely see more of the design. But this was the first pull, so that makes sense. And this one, you get more of the green and everything that's in there. My focus. Focus. Is it because I'm shaking what? There we go. Lots of little bits in there. See a lot of the stenciling here. This wasn't the cleanup print. This was the purple one that we did. But now it's dried more. You can see more of the white gesso stencil coming through. Our galaxy that kind of got 
I didn't I, I didn't mix enough and I didn't add in enough uh, white and gold and I think the purple is better than the pink but that's just my opinion here's for you true vintage lovers got some rosy rosy gold pink going on there Here's the other one, the sister companion to that one, more of the rosy gold pink. And you can, if you tilt it, in person I can see it, but for you guys, I have to tilt it for you guys to see the shimmer that's happening with all the, this is just the gold ink that I used in there. Let's see how it shimmers back at you. It's winking. I didn't use any of my bronze today. I pulled out the bronze, but I didn't. I didn't use it. If you're doing a winter journal, this would be a great piece to use as, a, you know, back of cats and things. This is this was just uh, this was a cleanup print, so nothing special. Here's another clean, uh, cleanup print that needs probably a lot of white. <laughs> Well, not probably, it does. It's a hot mess, it's just a cleanup print, so. But then you get good, you get cleanup prints like this one. Um, and it may not look much in its entirety, but once you start breaking it down, like this would be really, really cute if you're doing a denim journal or a bee journal even. um this was this was a print but then i turned it into a cleanup print <laughs> because uh, i had ripped it but uh you can see some of the the pinky gold in the background um so it's a hot mess that needs this one uh, this is the one that i tore this is the one where we can say that there was a piece of paper harmed in the making of this uh of this these jelly prints because, uh, well, it's it started out really good with the, the, the really truly rose goldy color there happening, but I ripped it. It had an accident. Sorry, it wasn't my fault. Is that everything? Let me see here now. Um, okay, that's it. That's what we did today. Uh, we made a mess and yeah, but yeah, but I don't sell prints like this where they're torn, but this one neither won't get sold, but some of these are okay. If I don't keep them for myself, um, this one definitely would look good in a bee journal and I'll show you why. See that design right there and it's in that like yellow gold color. Super pretty for a bee journal for sure. So, got all kinds of things happening over here. And that's it. Uh, I need a bath. <laughs> and uh, I need to clean up my workspace because uh, this is what it looks like. You know, so, we got <laughs> all the mess happening. I've got all my stuff all over. There's my stuff. I'm using a little more uh, not cluttered, but um, <laughs> I was not feeling good today and I didn't clean up my mess from yesterday. So, um, a little plus, I got like a huge project going on and a couple other journal projects going on, and it's just a mess over here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I am going to go rest and eat and shower. Um, I'm going to be back on either tomorrow or Tuesday, one of the two, because one of the days I'm going to go see the ghost. But whatever day I come back on, I'm either going to do more jelly biting. Um, I have a share also as well. Uh, I got some uh, some fun stuff 
to share. And then um, also, I don't want to, I still want to leave the box for Wednesday. So if I don't do jelly plating, um, I don't know, we'll see. I haven't decided yet, but uh, I do want to come on for at least a few minutes and share that stuff. Um, but I also want to do something other than just share stuff. So um, I'll figure it out. Thank you, Tam. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Diane. You guys are awesome. For sticking in with, sticking it out with me. Um, thank you for keeping me company. I think I can actually go and uh, lay down now. I haven't been able to rest all day. Uh, and, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, thank you all for being here. And uh, if I like I said, I'll see you sometime in the next couple days. Uh, I don't know when, but <laughs> I will. Um, uh, stay, stay happy and creative, my friends. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Um, or hit me up on Facebook Messenger. Or hit me up on my Facebook page. Um, both my regular and my music art page. I'm available. So... I will see you guys another time. Bye.